Hey guys, so my gate for Door King board, I think is not sending the proper voltage is what's happening because I did a jump test between the brown wire and the uh, black wire. Support is really good at Door King. They told me to jump those two wires. And if the solenoid locks the gate, it will work. The problem I'm having is that the solenoid is not engaging when I move the gate. <laughs> So they're telling me if it does engage by jumping the um, brown and black wire there then there's an issue with the motherboard so this is actually an old motherboard from 1995 i'm not surprised if uh things are, are breaking now almost 30 years later so i went with the uh recommended board by them which is the 4602 i believe 012 or something like that so yeah, 4602012 is what it says on that transformer. So this guy will get replaced. This whole thing will get replaced by that guy. So I'm going to go take off these one, two, three, four screws. There's a connector right there that's going to pop off. Another connector here that will pop off, and that should be a pretty straightforward swap. In the meantime, I've shot videos before about this gate. This, this window here gets really dirty, so I have napkins and some spray, and then I clean it because those photo sensors get affected. They don't do a proper count if you don't clean this. So since I'm going to have all this off, I'm going to go ahead and clean it. As you can see, I live in a rural area with a lot of dirt, so I'm not surprised why this stuff gets dirty. All right, do-it-yourselfers. Here's the board off. As you can see, this is a Door King 46010105, copyright 1995. So definitely some aging on this uh, old board, but it served us for about three years of living, living in this ranch home. And I uh, got the power replaced at this uh, location. So we have clean power here. Um, looks like this board here, this 4602, is going to have the proper connection. So we do have 18, count them, 1 through 18, down here on the left-hand side. And then we have our connector on the right-hand side. And that matches what this 4602 has. So um, as you can see, I haven't cleaned it yet. But look how, look how dirty it gets in there. Right, so we need to re replace that, or rather clean it, making sure that the film is clean because it uses the LEDs. There's a photo sensor, um, I guess they call them photo sensors, but they're like basically little basically right where those LEDs are at, the, red, the two red ones right at the bottom there. Um, let me set this down. Like, sure. There you go. So basically these guys right here, I believe are the ones that make the count as it's passing through. And there's some magnetic little spin wheel on this uh, on this gear, and it's just constantly coming through and, and trying to count. So if that's dirty, uh, I've had problems where it's not properly counting. So making sure this area is clean is a good idea. Um, again, very difficult for my situation because I have a lot of dirt here, so I have to make sure that this cover is going to be plugged up. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, clean this up and do some replacements. So here's the new board. I put in uh, one, two, well, that one's already been put in place for this bracket, so I just kind of slid this out. And so these two screws were the most important one. This one here, the bracket um, broke, just aging, I guess. Uh, not, not a big issue because as long as these are making contact, we should be good. We're going to plug this guy in. And it should just be a direct connect. And there it is. There's my direct connect. And you'll notice there's some sensors in here as well. The photo sensors I was mentioning about. I'm not even sure if they're actually photo sensors, but they're making contact with this magnet here as it turns. It's gonna be essentially counting based off that. And you'll see these guys blink. So these are definitely newer LEDs. They're only three millimeter versus the bigger, bigger ones. So let's power it on. And let's see what she does. We got an LED power right here. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let's let's go ahead and attempt to do this this code here. So I'm gonna walk over to my code gate and have it count its positioning. Again, this is not a terrible terrible stop situation, but okay. So this time it's going left. 
think I heard the click. So I think we got, I think we got the uh, proper uh, lock going on. That solenoid's clicking. So it's going through its cycle right now. I'm actually not sure how many times it's supposed to go through this cycle, so I wonder if it's in uh, test mode right now. So that was uh, that was a full rev revelations uh, revs rather of two times. So it went it went back and went forward. So it closed, then went open again, found its last count, and then it went again to the forward side. And it stopped now let's do let's verify that the solenoid will actually lock my gate because that was the issue i was having and it does beautiful so that's what it was guys my solenoid was not engaging because i had a bad motherboard and it was just old right so this guy is the door king 4602 zero one zero that's what it says on the rev there. And we are set. Thanks for watching, guys.